you know, I always seem to make this more of a drawn out, uh, long discussion than it needs to be. I feel like anybody that's hearing this on Facebook or YouTube or, you know, hit it up through Twitter or wherever you found it, that, um, you know, you could take five minutes and hear out a good solid plan for tackling an issue here or there in the realm of things that seem to get tied up and confused for a real problem. You want to talk about weed? Weed is the one thing, the one drug out of all of the drugs that really seems to have already been here and well established and has a good purpose. It has a good wrap up, man. And there's no negative things you can say about weed that are anything close to what else is really peddled out there. I'm inviting industries like the alcohol industry and the pharmaceutical industry to straight up hijack the whole concept of weed. You, there are BevMo's. Why would there not be warehouses? Why would there not be BJ's and fucking Sam Club's sized dispensaries all over the United States of America? And we could get people onto smoking weed and wean them off of having to really tear apart their bodies with liquor and all of these other hard processed manufactured drugs sure those drugs will have a culture and i say it might be unfair okay but we will never forget historically the value of any of our states but i say we take like the least two populated states in the United States of America and all of the people who don't want to be in the following circumstance can get on out of there. Um, and we just really, you want to talk about walls, you want to talk about hatred, let's wall off. Think about the jobs. Think about the jobs and the production it would generate. Um, and for people of all skill levels, and we'll get Henry Ford with our shit. And we'll build walls to make Mad Max lands within our own country, and I, I'll, Google, I'll quickly Google later the least two populated states, but dude, I mean, just to make those states lawfully the land of barbarism and lawlessness, what an American thing to do and what a gesture to everybody else. Literally, we'll take all, we can use all of the confiscated crazy hard drugs, narcotics, um, all of the weapons, all of the contraband, and we'll literally ship it in there and we'll have jobs to, you know, okay, we'll use the existing cities, but imagine the armored domed protected sites for the government, the off limits areas from, we'll just call Washington DC district one. <laughs> we'll just call that the capital from now on. And, uh, from there we can really construct these two awesome wastelands and think about the entertainment value of that and really anybody in the country anybody in the world who really wants to be the dominant and and they want to show off we are physically the strongest of this ideological spectrum and you're talking about that's a perfect opportunity for all of the militaries in the world to test out their shit that's perfect for isis that's perfect for all of the conflicts everybody that wants to live in peace stay where you're at and all the people that are like fuck you will kill for this go to the arena go to the coliseums go to the outlaw states and what a great gesture and i really think like that's something we could do in our lifetime it's not like we don't have cars it's not like we don't have buses and i really think that in effort to get it done why don't we just let the oil companies take over all of the solar industry and just absorb the hell out of all the companies that are already there, pay off these people, get them out of the way, and just straight up become the dominant monopoly of solar power all over the world, and really just get us green as hell as quick as you can, and get paid for it. Because I really think that's beneficial to everybody, including yourselves. So these are the kind of ideas that, you know, President Grendel brings to the mix. Uh, I don't want to brag, but I feel like it hasn't even taken me five minutes and i and i do you really think that i would fail on stage with uh trump or clinton no i feel like they would never in a thousand years give us a 30 minute slot even for me donald and hillary to sit down and hash it out to see who's got the best ideas because you know that would throw the whole thing into chaos and you'd see that somebody actually can make some sense here <laughs>